Now, what are the effects on the illness? And of course, we've seen that in meditation you have less mental clutter, so obviously you're, you're, uh, it, it seems logical that meditators should have better mental health. And this is exactly what has been found. This is a study by Dr. Adam Morgan in Exeter University. He took a group of people with depression and he gave them Sahaja Yoga meditation, nothing, all the treatment you get in the NHS called cognitive behavioral therapy. And this treatment is supposed to work, but in this study it didn't work, but Sahaja Yoga meditation worked significantly better, as you can see, and that was the only significant improvement. So the depressed people became significantly less anxious after six weeks of Sahaja Yoga meditation, less depressed, and they had less general mental illness. This is a study on anxiety by Dr. Chung from Philadelphia University, and she uh, gave 66 Sajiva meditators and controls. They have, she gave the meditators a very intensive one-week treatment in the meditation hospital. And as you can see, the meditators significantly improved in the anxiety, while the controls got a normal hospital treatment, and they actually became worse. And the difference was, of course, highly significant. So meditation was much better than the traditional hospital treatment, which actually made them worse. This is an, a study on work stress. And as you know, we are all quite stressed at work, and it's a big problem. Work stress is associated with a lot of health problems. Uh, in this study, Dr. Ramesh Manocha from Australia, he tested people. He gave them uh, eight weeks of Sahaja Yoga meditation or he gave them relaxation response. And relaxation response is something which is used in TM. So as you can see, the relaxation response had no effect, so it didn't make them better. But Sahaja Yoga meditation made it, these people who were stressed and worked significantly better, so the stress symptoms became significantly better, so these are all improvement scores. The depression became significantly better, and the anxiety didn't quite reach significance, but as you can see, they're also better in the anxiety. This is a study on ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. So these are children who are restless, impulsive, and have problems with attention. So of course we thought that meditation would be good because it makes them calmer and it improves attention, and we've seen it enhances attention areas. And in fact, this is what happened. So these people got six weeks, they were children, they got six weeks of Sahaja Yoga meditation together with their parents and they improved significantly in their ADHD symptoms. What is interesting is that the effect was similar to that of stimulant medication. Hyperactive children normally get Ritalin, and it improves the symptoms, but it has side effects. So it, it affects the sleep, it affects the growth, and of course, if you can have an improvement without any side effects through meditation, then that's better, especially in a child which has, still has a developing brain. And they all improved, although most of them even stopped their Ritalin, their medication. Although they stopped or reduced their medication, they still improved significantly. <laughs> this is a study on drug consumption. Uh, this is done by Dr. Wolfgang Hackel from Austria. So he tested uh, people who entered meditation, and he followed them up for a year and asked them questions about their drug use. What is quite interesting is that after only one week, almost 60% of, of drug users stopped their drug consumption. This is really remarkable because they were partly, some of them were heroin abusers, cocaine, uh, amphetamines. And what he found that after a year, only 7% still took their drugs. And you know, I work in a mental hospital and it's just, there is no drug, uh, there, there is no treatment and which works as well as this. So this is really quite remarkable. You don't find this anywhere else. So what about physical illness? I've shown you before that meditation enhances the parasympathetic nervous system, which restores your bodily function. And of course, this should have an effect on your physical body. And this is exactly what has been shown. Again, this is a study by Dr. Chung, which I've shown you before, where people with hypertension significantly improved with one week of intensive meditation. There have been several studies in India who have shown that people improve with epilepsy. And epilepsy is quite a severe disease. You have epileptic attacks quite frequently. 
and you have to take quite severe drugs with, with severe side effects. Uh, in this, uh, they sh these studies, what they all of them showed that the number of epileptic attacks can be significantly reduced with meditation. So this is after uh, three months, and this is after six months. This is a study by Dr. Ramesh Manucha from Australia, and he found that meditation has a significant effect on asthma. These people meditated for two months, two, two times weekly, and the asthma you can measure in an objective way. They had a significant reduction of their asthma um, uh, indicators of the severity of their asthma. Uh, what is interesting about this study is that after two months, they stopped the treatment, the meditation, and then he followed them up after another month. And what happened is after the month when they stopped the meditation, they all went back to the same severity of asthma they had before. So what this means is if you use meditation to cure any of your illnesses or diseases, you have to do it for life, you have to do it regularly, and, and you can't just stop when you notice you, you feel some health benefits because they will come back. So meditation really is a discipline for life. And I think that's the reason why few people use it, because you have to do it regularly and forever if you want to have the benefits. And some people find it easier to you know, take a pill than to actually sit down 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening, and get yourself disciplined and go into meditation. But as you see, it's as effective as drugs. This is a study on menopause. And again, there was a significant reduction of the hot flushes in women with men in the menopause phase. What is interesting is the effect was similar to hormone replacement therapy. And hormone replacement therapy has been associated with increased cancer risk. So again, if you can avoid the cancer risk, it's better to use meditation. 